So welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm just going to be showing you guys my daily life and uh, yeah, we are detuning the 435 but we'll get into that in a little bit. Before we actually get into that, let's get into today's shout out. So we're going to give a huge special shout out to Austin Green, Omar Merriweather, Daniel May, Amaro Wage, Chris Shelton, and Joseph London. So there's actually one more person I, I forgot to mention and I feel so bad for not doing that. So huge special shout out to Boosted Life. You went ahead and ordered me an oil pan, uh, pretty much like a, an oil cover for the 650i that ended up getting refunded, which I don't know what happened. Apparently the guy didn't want to ship it. So I took the money and I'm putting it right back to the 650i. It's a huge special shout out to Boosted Life. It was a huge and generous donation to the channel. So I appreciate you. And for anyone that wants to be shout out in the next video, make sure to check out the merch store down below. I actually just placed a huge order last night. I think I ordered like five shirts, two, 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 two hats, which are not released yet because I, I want to see them for myself before, you know. And if you guys want to be featured on the 650i plaque, all you gotta do is spend $20 or more. Without further ado, let's go ahead and go on with my uh, my daily schedule. So this morning, since I am recording this video, I am not actually working on orders or editing a video. I normally, I'm normally at the house till like 12, but obviously today's a little different. So we're not working on orders and we're not editing a video, but that's typically what I do. What I'm actually gonna do now, we're gonna head down to the post office, drop off some packages, get something to eat, and then I pretty much just start my day. Sometimes I eat in the middle of the day, depending on how rough the schedule is. Here is a startup, I guess a cold startup, on a 435 stage two. It's quiet, but that, that's what I was going for with the Valtronic exhaust and the catted down pipe. This is what I was aiming for. So basically I'm in the garage of my house and I don't have to wake up my family or anything like that. And as soon as I put into sport mode, those valves open and it goes crazy. So don't worry guys, I'll be explaining to why I'm actually detuning my car in a little bit. But we gotta do, we gotta run some errands, fuel up the car itself. It is literally out of fuel. And then fuel up your man. But these pops though. Oh, oh my lord, not trying to get a ticket. Uh-uh, not today. Wait, one more. Just a little bit more one hurt. Maybe just a downshift. Oh my lord. <laughs> Guys, this car sounds so good. Oh my lord. Guys, look at this white interior. Oh my, it was worth every, I mean, it was a lot of money, but I mean, it did kind of put me in a financial, it wasn't the right financial decision, I'm not gonna lie, but it was a great deal. That is the most unique one series color I've ever seen on my, that's paint too. I think it's been repainted, that's weird. Oh my lord. Honestly, you can't go wrong with Costco gas. I mean, it's good, it's affordable. I mean, what else do you need? This is the only thing I have as for a glove right now, but it is what it is. Oh, it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. What it is. <laughs> Guys, these things look so good. New addition. I just ran into one of my old friends. Not old friends, but I haven't seen him in a little bit. Basically, when I had an M3, he had an M3, and uh, he has a really insane M3, and I just ran into him and his family. Said, what's up? Well, we are heading down to the post office to drop off your guys' packages. So normal people would just take a left right here, but there's that horrific speed bump right there. So I try to go the extra mile. I go over here so I can avoid that speed bump and then uh, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Even when you're on bags, it's just super unpractical to air up and air down. You guys can see like right here, this guy has to go over the bump. Oh, well, this guy, he's a monster truck. Ah, good guy, good guy. All right, we are heading out. Chillin'. Right, guys here at the post office that's a pretty good parking spot i know i know i have legs and i could probably do an extra you know a few a few more cardio movements but uh that parking spot looks real tempting not gonna lie all right look at this parking spot it's so nice what's the point of having bags if you don't air out damn i hope i can open my door to be honest uh, i feel kind of responsible if one of you guys get the corona so i'm gonna go in there alone so none of y'all get it so give me a second i'll be back in all right guys we are back let's go ahead and just air up real quick and uh head down to chipotle because your man's hungry you guys these packages are on the way i'm trying to back out but this truck does not want to move okay i think he's out of my way let's get out of here y'all let's get out of here let's skedaddle and guys we have made it to chipotle let's go ahead and get some chipotle i'm starved i mean i'm not really starving but i mean i love chipotle and it is my only meal of the day so i mean i, I think it kind of justifies why why i want it you know chipotle is my life <laughs> that old lady gave me the peace sign i don't know if i wanted to keep recording that but she's so cool all right let's go ahead and uh just park anywhere uh she's not just park anywhere i mean the thing is it is wrapped but i'm not trying to get dings on my door but 
this does look pretty convenient right here. So we'll park right over here. Oh, oh, go crazy, yeah. Go stupid, uh. Oh. Go crazy, oh, hold it, hold it, a little bit. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this new fitment is looking so good. You know what looks better? Is if I go ahead and pull out airlift, just air out real quick. Damn, that tuck though, that looks hella good. All right, let's go get some Chipotle, let's get Chipotle. Airing out never gets old, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot my mask. Guys, I'm telling you, you can never go wrong with Chipotle. Guys, all these people's cars or fans are so loud, it's not just mine. So if those of you guys are wondering about my, my water pump, my engine temperatures are really good. But here in California right now, every everyone's cars are super hot. The weather is super hot. So that's why the fans are going crazy. The temperatures are perfect. So don't worry. I, I, I appreciate you all for worrying about me. But thankfully, my water pump has not gone bad. I don't know if you guys know, but if you guys are OG to the channel, my first ever BMW, which is my BMW 330i. When I had that car, I didn't know anything about BMWs and anything about cars at the time, to be honest. My first issue with my 330i was my water pump. It went out. And I had two BMWs. I had an E36 that I bought just to like kind of like have fun with. It was a convertible. And I ended up having to sell that E36 just to pay for the water pump job at BMW. It was about $1,800. It sent me back. I think I sold the car for $1,500. And I used some of my, uh, my savings to pay for that repair. And ever since that day, because of that water pump, I am now a YouTuber. I consider myself kind of like a YouTuber. And uh, yeah, I mean, this it's kind of crazy to think about that this channel pretty much started because my water pump went bad and I couldn't afford to uh, fix the car. So then I decided to take the matters into my own hands. So let's just go ahead, head home, eat this Chipotle, and then, and then, let me think, let me think. Let's detune the car. Yeah, I know it sucks, but it is what it is. I I'll let y'all know why uh, pretty much after I get something to eat. I went with a more veggie than cheese bowl this time. I was like, you know, let me get more veggies than cheese and all that unnecessary stuff. So uh, chow down, I'm pretty excited. I just realized why my camera, like the light was so low. I have my settings, mm, I kept messing up my settings. I look so much better in these settings. Like, look at me guys, like, woof. Damn! Anyhow, let's go ahead and head down to the garage. Your man had a really good feast. <clears throat> Gotta love Chipotle. I can never ever get tired of it. But unfortunately, I did get tired of something and that's what we're about to do right now. Detuning. And we are here with the Butte. Oh my, guys, I can never ever get over how beautiful this car is. Like, I don't think there's a single thing on this car that stops other than the headlights and the tail light. And I think we're coming up to them. I do want to either tint these headlights or black them out from the inside or just go with something completely custom for the front. The thing is these, these are, I think the dynamic headlights or whatever the hell you call them. They're super nice. They have all the features. These are like beautiful. They haven't given me any issues either. But I think this side does condensate a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but obviously if I get these rebuilt condensation wouldn't be an issue anymore so that is actually like a two-in-one thing fix the headlights and also modify them see normally around this time of day uh I, I probably if i'm not working on the video i'll probably be working out i've been trying to work out like almost every single day some days i'm not and it's just because like i'm not gonna lie some days it is kind of unmotivational to work out at home i used to have a gym membership i used to go every single night and i was doing really really well for myself but you know things happen in life it's fine i did pick up some i picked up these dumbbells right before the gym's actually closed i think i picked up both of those for about $300 brand new and I think right now they're going right now used for like $800 to $1,000 on eBay something crazy like that which is kind of crazy I'm just a business minded person so when I heard about that I'm like should I sell my dumbbells but then I'll lose my biceps so I was like eh, you know I don't know you know and then I picked up this awesome bench that folds up it's like a portable bench it's super sick I knew I'm not really trying to talk about my fitness thing I'm just really happy about it and I love it so I'm, I'm like low-key talking about it but anyways to the topic of this video and I bet you guys are probably wondering like no really why are you detuning the car so today I'm pretty much going to be taking off the transmission flash this thing is tuned I think it's like the DTC transmission flash or something like that from boot mode I did notice a noticeable shift difference but the problem is it's a little too harsh for my liking I don't know if you can soften it up just a little bit but way too aggressively and this is my daily and when I'm trying to floor it and shift I like that smooth transition between gears I'm not that big fan of like the car kind of like joking back not a big fan of that and maybe that's what a sport car feel is supposed to feel like but i don't know i don't know i feel like a dct shouldn't do that or at least this harsh so i'm gonna go ahead and remove the flash and see if it makes any difference maybe it's maybe something that happened after i did the transmission fluids it could have been that it could have been honestly so i did top off of the fluids i'm pretty sure the fluids are topped off so that's why i want to go ahead and detune the car take it out for a spin have the rpm super high and try to shift it while I gas all the way down and see if it's if it's hard or not if it's not hard that means it was the flash and I'm just not the biggest fan of it. Benny, let's go ahead, jump in the car, pull out the computer, and tune this bad boy. I might actually play with the burbles as well. Why not? You know, already on boot, we're already jumping in boot mode, might as well tune it. So what's up guys? I'm gonna set y'all right there for a second just while I set all this stuff up. It is a super hot day out. Let me go ahead and lower down all the windows. Ah, 
that seatbelt thing is really starting to piss me off. Anywho, let's go ahead and hook all this up. Something also that I do, guys, I'm just looking at this computer and I'm remembering. I'm a huge tech nerd. I don't know if you guys know that or not. So a little hobby of mine or something I, I, something I used to do a long time ago. This is this stuff I do off camera. Like right now, it is the summertime. I normally do studying at night, stuff like that. And you guys are probably wondering, well, no, why are you talking about your life? This is basically a video talking about pretty much what I do on a daily life or pretty much what Noor does other than just doing car stuff all the time. I love cars. Don't get me wrong. I love BMWs. I'm a huge car enthusiast. That hasn't changed. Don't worry, guys. It's not like I woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. But basically, before I actually got into BMWs, I had an Apple repair business. I basically used to repair phones and just do a lot of screen replacements, modify phones, put like custom housings on it, even MacBooks and all kinds of iMacs. It's just a bunch of Apple products. I used to love and have a passion for Apple products. And I kind of steered away from it ever since I got into cars. Haven't had time because I had school and everything. Summer did hit. I am taking summer courses mainly because your man is trying to graduate on time. I don't know if you guys know, but yeah, your man is trying to get married. So he's trying to graduate on time. So I'm taking two summer classes. Wish me luck, you guys. I think it's like a six week course per course. That's pretty hectic, but it's only two classes. I think I could do it. So anyways, now that it's the summertime, I ha I did get a Mac Pro and I love upgrading things. So I picked up a Mac Pro and that's one of the few Macs. It's not the crazy new Mac Pro that costs $50,000. This Mac Pro I think was like $500 and all the upgrades for it are super cheap. It's a 2009, but you can upgrade it to function like a 2020. That's something like you guys know about cars. As a car enthusiast, you love to upgrade things. You love making it kind of like the newest version and you love to do things that are unique. I'm going to be putting RGBs in my Mac Pro. I'm going to try to like fully max it out with like 128 gigabytes of RAM, 12 core processor. For you guys who are tech nerds, you guys know what I'm talking about. See, so yeah, I'm a huge tech guy and uh, basically even this laptop that I got for this car, um, this is dedicated just for BMW diagnostics and I fully spec'd it out. I think it's like a it's 500 gigabyte SSD, which is the most I think for this guy. I think fully maxed out on the RAM. I'm not really sure what that was exactly. The processor is not the best, but it is what it is. It just needs it for coding. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Anyhow, yeah, so that's my daily life. I, I love working on Apple products on my downtime and uh, you know, I, I it's, just, it's like a hobby of mine. I love, I love fixing things. So whether it's cars or not, it's just a hobby of mine. So if you guys are wondering how I got into working on cars, I've always liked fixing things. It's kind of a passion and I always always watch YouTube videos on how to do it. Kind of like how some of you guys are watching my videos to learn how to work on cars. Basically, I used to watch other channels on how to work on cars and uh, phone products and all that good stuff. So, uh, boot mode has logged up. So let's go ahead and sign in real quick. Uh, I signed in through Facebook. All right, OBD is connected. So let's go ahead and go down here to, I think, uh, transmission, yep. So transmission, upgrade to eight-speed automatic TCU flash, stock six-speed TCU flash. I'm gonna go ahead and do the stock flash. So flash your transmission computer, flash stock. Uh, identifying vehicle software in progress, flash can be done. Warning, battery charge is highly recommended. Turn headlights and fan off. Okay, so fan and headlights off. Plug in the driver's seatbelt, which I am. And do not open or close doors. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Let's go ahead and flash it. Drivetrain malfunction, beautiful. I think I just blew up my transmission. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. This is normally what the light you see when you uh, when you flash your transmission. I love boot mode. You don't need to know anything about coding in order to flash a car. It's super cool. You can modify it, do all that good stuff through this application. If you guys want to get boot mode, and yes, I want to do transmission flashes, tunes, custom tunes, you can even do your own custom maps, burbles, all that good stuff. Make sure to check out Keys Motorsports down below. They sell at the same price the whole world sells it, but if you use my code NOR5, you guys can get a discount on this, and you're supporting your boy at the same time. So make sure to check out Keys down below. I'm gonna have to charge this laptop, not gonna lie. All right, that was a success. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So the tune's pretty much done. Well, at least the flash, so I basically flashed it back. Let me go ahead and go back to my maps real quick. Uh, so I'm on stage two, OTS, N55. All right, so this is my stage stage two and uh, let's go to configure. I'm gonna turn this up to maybe around 10 because we, we always wanted aggressive if we're not, if we're not an eco, we wanted aggressive. Minimum speed is zero, maximum speed, yada, 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 RPM, nice level. So let's go ahead and just flash it again. And since we flashed it before, it should be quick and easy. So this should be really quick. All right, guys, it says it's been a success. So uh, let's see if we made any big differences with the shifting and the burbles. And this little, let's pop this sucker out real quick. Take it out for a spin. See how the transmission shifts. I ordered a GoPro, by the way, guys. So we'll be having some GoPro footage. I got a new GoPro front mount from Burger Tuning. And then I also got a GoPro head mount and a chest mount and all that good stuff. We're going to go, so we're going to get some GoPro footage in for you guys. Because I'm trying to push this car to like its max limits and race other cars, but at the same time, I'm trying to get that all on footage for you guys. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and take out for a spin and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. My turn. Woo! Hi, thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Uh, 
like, can I get a double? I don't know if you guys caught what I said at Starbucks. I was like, do you guys have a double double animal style? And uh, obviously, if you guys know, if you guys live in California, that, that's a cheeseburger from In and Out. But literally, my camera died as soon as I said that, which is honestly retarded. But anyway, I got some uh, lemonade. I normally don't get lemonade, so that's just me spoiling myself today because I'm vlogging and I feel kind of like a uh, vloggy vibe. You know, when people vlog, they spend money, so uh, yeah. And here, the car is doing well. For some reason, there is a slight bog for some reason. I don't know what's going on with the idle. Like, I'm sitting at an idle. The fans are super loud, but the temperatures are perfect. It's just the idle is slightly bogging. I don't know if that's because of some kind of like evap issue. I'm not sure, but it is summertime and normally as soon as summer hits, BMWs break down. Just they're, they're all the plastics and shit. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead out again. I'm actually meeting up with a friend of mine. I normally don't do that either to be honest I'm pretty I'm pretty lonely. I stay at home. I just work on computers talk to my girl and I make videos for you guys uh, That's my entire life to be honest, but today again is a little different That's why I felt like recording today. I'm going out a lot, which is you know pretty nice getting some fresh air beautiful uh, Beautiful day here in California. That is that guys. Yeah, so pretty much this car is back uh, it's, it's back to regular flash on the transmission Anywho y'all this is pretty much the end of this video pretty much a day in the life of nor keeping you guys updated on the 435 so that you guys know a little bit about me i'm just not i'm not just a car person i love fixing things you guys learn a little bit about my history but anyway, that's for those of you guys who actually give a shit i mean i hope y'all do but anyhow i love y'all so much but without further ado i love y'all so much see you guys in the next one peace out